The year 2019 was quite an eventful one, full of many controversies. Even though the Takrade girls were kidnapped in 2018, the issue became topical in 2019. On September 16, the police announced that some remains found in Takrade were the remains of the victims, Ruth Abaka, Priscilla Blessing Bintum, Ruth Love Quaisen, and Priscilla Mansebia Crunchy. A few minutes ago, officers of the Ghana Police Service informed four families in Takradi in the western region of Ghana that DNA tests conducted on some human remains discovered in the course of police investigations into the disappearance of four missing girls are turned positive as the remains of the girls. In addition, there were very topical issues such as the death of investigative journalist Ahmed Hussein Swale, the Odona market fire which left many traders in loss the discovery of a fake military camp at Gomwa Fete, and plans to construct a national cathedral. There was also the Ayawaso West War won by election and the violence that accompanied the election, leading to the formation of the Emil Short Commission. The move subsequently led to the passage of the Vigilantism and Related Offences Bill. The selection of a new Yana of Dagbon brought to an end a decade of dispute, which brought peace to the Dagbon traditional area. Another major event that also happened in 2019 was the creation of six new regions. By the end of the first quarter of the year, Ghana had 16 regions in total. Even though there were plans for a referendum to allow Ghanaians to vote for their MMDCEs, the plan was aborted some few weeks to the referendum day. Even after their U-turn, I undertook consultations across a broad range of opinion as to the way forward. The general result of these consultations was that the process of repeal should be put on hold for the time being to enable a durable national consensus to be forged on this matter. Throughout the year, some of the issues that generated talk included the completion of the footbridges along the Medina Adenta Highway and the refusal of pedestrians to use them, even though there were consistent agitations for the facilities. The registration of the Ghana card also came off with its own challenges this year, with long queues at dawn. By mid-year, there were a number of demonstrations over bad roads and a number of industrial strikes over salary areas and poor working conditions. The death of some policemen in their line of duty and the killings of civilians by some policemen also made the headlines. One major issue that is worth mentioning is the botched PDS deal and all the controversies that came with the deal. Well, if there was any government policy that received public opposition, then it is the Comprehensive Sexuality Education, CSE, which government attempted to introduce through a new improved curriculum. Perhaps one of the biggest campaigns that influenced national policy was the decision by the MD of City FM and City TV, Samuel Atamensa, to appoint himself as an ambassador to champion the consumption of Ghana rice. It's about they taking advantage of the euphoria mm. that has erupted as a result of uh, uh, what this action is coming up with. We want to see a change in our attitudes. Mm. We are not against the foreign importation rice. of foreign rice. Mm. Repeat, we are not against it. What we are saying is that we as citizens should learn to eat what we grow. Mm -hmm. This singular act caused a nationwide call for Ghanaians to consume rice produced in Ghana as well as other made in Ghana goods, challenging the president to issue a directive for all state institutions to use Ghana rice for official functions. City TV also initiated a campaign to rid our streets of undisciplined drivers with the war against indiscipline campaign. Also topical among issues in the country were the increase in tariffs, such as water and electricity, as well as the increment in prices of petroleum products and the increment in the communication service tax from 6% to 9%. There was also the attempted destabilization plot by a group of people who attempted to take power forcibly from the government of the day. By the end of the third quarter of 2019, activities coinciding with the year of return had begun to gain grounds, as a number of foreigners and international celebrities made appearances in the country. Then in December, the district's assembly elections came through, but without the referendum. Then came the usual Christmas concerts and parties, with a few more events making mating entries as part of the Year of Return initiative. 
in all, 2019 ended like any other year would, not as a bed of roses and certainly not as a bed of thorns.